Hello everyone, Andy Warburton here at Journeys in Darkness and Light with the list of film noir and neo-noir new releases for April 2023. And I've got several items of interest here today, including a classic on 4K, two box sets, some forerunners of film noir, and much more. So let's get started on April the 4th with a 4K release of my favorite movie of all time. That's right. It's The Maltese Falcon from 1941, coming to us from Warner Brothers with a 4K Ultra Disc, a Blu-ray, and a digital code. Now, I'm sure we all own this film in at least one format, maybe more. So here are the special features that you're going to get with this set. First of all, this is a 4K restoration and an HDR presentation. All of the supplements that we have here have previously appeared on other editions. We have one audio commentary by Eric Lax, the features The Maltese Falcon, One Magnificent Bird, Becoming Attractions, the trailers of Humphrey Bogart, Makeup Tests, and three radio broadcasts, Lux Radio Theater, Screen Guild Theater, and Academy Award Theater. We also have trailers for the main feature, The Maltese Falcon, also Satan Metal Lady, and Sergeant York, plus Warner Brothers Night at the Movies newsreels, cartoons, and shorts. Now, it would have been nice if we could have included the other two versions of this film, the 1931 original and the 1936 Satan Met a Lady. But if you have the DVD three-disc set from a few years ago, you already have these. Also, on April 4th, we have another Dark Side of Cinema set from Kino Lorber. Volume 12 in a projected 15 volume set. They just keep cranking them out, don't they? These are all new 2K restorations. So let's take a look at what we have. We kick off the set with Undertow from 1949, directed by William Castle, who, before he got into horror, made several crime pictures. In this one, Scott Brady plays Tom Regan, a World War II veteran who wants to open up a mountain lodge. But before he can do that, Regan is framed for murder. The film also has mob action as well as Dorothy Hart, Peggy Dow, and the second big screen appearance of Rock Hudson. The lone extra is an audio commentary from Tim Tierney, Scott Brady's son, and professor film scholar Jason A. Nye. Next, Outside the Wall from 1950, directed by Crane Wilbur. Richard Basehart plays Larry Nelson, a man just released from prison for a crime he committed as an adolescent, killing a bully. Maybe Larry isn't quite ready for the outside world. He leaves the temptations of the city, moving to the country, where he finds a job at a sanitarium, where he's mesmerized by a nurse named Charlotte, played by Marilyn Maxwell but she's the kind of girl who requires a lot of money. When a new patient named Stoker, played by John Hoyt, comes in for a treatment, Larry recognizes him as an ex-con, and soon they've concocted a plan for a heist. And things get complicated. If you liked Dorothy Hart from Undertow, you're going to see her again. And also Swedish actress Signe Hasso, as nurses. This one contains a new audio commentary by author and film historian Alan K. Rohde. Closing out the set, we have Hold Back Tomorrow from 1955, directed by Hugo Haas, who specialized in old man falls for beautiful young woman noir stories. This time, things are different. John Agar stars as a death row inmate named Joe, whose last request is to spend the night with a woman. Yeah, I'm sure they're going to grant that one, Joe. But they do. A practically suicidal waitress, they can't call her a prostitute even in 1955, named Dora, played by Cleo Moore. Sounds ridiculous, I know, but you might be surprised. Unfortunately, the extras must have also ended up on death row. All we get with this one is a trailer. 
On April the 11th from Kino Lorber comes a French film from 2002 called Man on the Train, directed by Patrice Leconte. Two men from wildly different backgrounds develop an unlikely friendship. A criminal who arrives in a small town to meet with his conspirators to plan a heist and a retired school teacher. Each man is attracted to the other's lifestyle. An unusual film and an award winner at the Venice Film Festival. I'm eager to check this one out. No word yet on extras. On April the 18th, Kino brings us a couple of forerunners of film noir from the 1930s. First, we have You and Me from 1938, directed by Fritz Lang. It's always fun to see Harry Carey in a movie, and here he's the owner of a department store, but it's a department store that hires ex-cons. Two of his employees, Joe, played by George Raft, and Helen, played by Sylvia Sidney, marry each other despite the fact that this violates Helen's parole. But their marriage bliss is in jeopardy, when the couple is approached to participate in a heist of the store's Christmas earnings. As far as I can tell, no extras. I rarely talk about recent films, but a lot of people are still talking about this one. And this is Marlowe from 2022, directed by Neil Jordan and starring Liam Neeson as Philip Marlowe, the detective created by Raymond Chandler. Now, this isn't a Chandler adaptation, but it is based on the 2014 novel The Black-Eyed Blonde by John Banville, writing under the name Benjamin Black. I won't get into the plot, but know that the film is set in 1939 Los Angeles and attempts to recreate the look and feel of the time and place. The film has generally received pretty bad reviews, but some critics and audiences like it. I'll probably get this from the library or catch it streaming, uh, but... Maybe I'll buy it. Who knows? No word on extras. Here's one that made the rounds at Noir City a few years ago. Okay, get this. Ginger Rogers, Doris Day, Steve Cochran, and Ronald Reagan in a film produced by Jerry Wald. Wow, that's an interesting combination, right? How about this as a quote from the movie? Hear that yelling out there? They've just found out that the law and order can't touch them. You did that when you let them off the hook. They're running wild. They're going to rip up the old laws and make new ones. You're going to remember this day for a very long time. That comes from a release that will be available on Blu-ray on April the 25th from Warner Archive. Storm Warning from 1951, directed by Stuart Heisler. Ginger Rogers plays Marcia, a traveling model who travels down south to visit her sister Lucy, played by Doris Day, whom she hasn't seen in two years. Stepping right off the bus, Marcia witnesses the KKK as they murder a man after dragging him from the town jail. Horrified, Marcia connects with her sister and learns some frightening news. Storm Warning is total noir during its first half and turns into more of a drama thriller in the second half, but you should definitely pick this one up. I'll also post my review from a few years ago, which links to an essay by Eddie Muller. Extras? Who knows? Also on April the 25th, also from Warner Archive, another film noir forerunner that you really should see and probably own. From 1931, directed by William A. Wellman, Safe in Hell is the story of Gilda, played by Dorothy McGale, a New Orleans prostitute accused of murder who flees to her old boyfriend, Carl, played by Donald Cook, who smuggles her to a Caribbean island where she can't be extradited. Everything seems wonderful until Carl bails, leaving Gilda trapped in a hotel filled with hardened criminals also on the run from the law. Dorothy McHale is terrific in this pre-code crime picture. No word on extras, which seems to be my refrain for this month. On April the 26th, we get another box set. This one, continuing the Australian label Via Vision's imprint series, 
called Essential Film Noir Collection 4. Now, this is a Region B set, and two of these films have never been released before on Blu-ray. So here is a quick rundown. First of all, we start with Rope of Sand from 1949. This is a neglected noir that really should be better known. Directed by William Dieterle, starring Burt Lancaster, Paul Heinrich, Claude Rains, Peter Lorre, Mike Mazurki, and more. Rope of Sand is a tale of greed and deception set in an African diamond mine. This was previously released from Olive in 2014. Next, we have Appointment with Danger from 1951. This was also previously released from Olive in 2014. This one, a more traditional noir starring Alan Ladd as a postal inspector investigating the murder of one of his men. It's not often we get to see postal inspector noir. This one, though, is pretty standard, but you've also got Phyllis Calvert, Jan Sterling, Paul Stewart, as well as two guys who would see a lot of each other in the coming years. Jack Webb, and Harry Morgan. The Enforcer from 1951 was also released by Olive in 2013 and just last month from Signal One in the UK. I mentioned that one in last month's video, so you can check out the details there, although the extras will be different. More on that in a minute. The next two films give us an Ida Lupino double feature, all on one disc. Now, neither of these films have been available on Blu-ray before. First, we have Beware My Lovely from 1952, another terrific noir that seldom gets talked about. Lupino plays a woman who hires a handyman, played by Robert Ryan, to do some work around the house. But she soon realizes this handyman is missing a few tools from his toolbox, causing her to wonder if she'll live to tell about the ordeal. Second, Jennifer from 1953, in which Lupino plays not Jennifer, but a woman named Agnes, hired as the new caretaker of a vacated estate, where she becomes obsessed with finding a missing woman named, here you go, Jennifer. This is far from my favorite Ida Lupino film, but it is shot by James Wong Howe, and it also co-stars Howard Duff. Again, if you have the first three films that I mentioned on the Olive Discs, you also probably don't have any extras on those discs. So I'm going to link to all of the extras for all of these films in the notes and let you take a look at those that are coming up. So consider picking this one up. This has some good stuff on it. So April is a very loaded month, so get your wallets ready. As always, release dates can change, and if they do change, I will tell you all about that right here. If there's anything that I've missed, please let me know, and I'll be glad to update the notes for that. So thanks for watching and please share this video with people that you think might enjoy it and maybe they'll want to subscribe to the channel. All right, everybody take care and watch some great noir. I will see you next time.